All right, did you know that you can actually get monetized quicker with YouTube now? Well, somewhat, we, we gonna talk about it. YouTube has changed, you know, their monetization eligibility requirements and it's great, but it's not what you're thinking. So I wanna provide some clarity for you um, in this video. All right, so back in 2022, YouTube made an announcement that they were actually expanding on the YPP YouTube partner program. And so they actually went ahead with doing that in June of last year. So this is not necessarily new information, but I, I do see a lot of misleading information popping up um, on my homepage. So I kind of wanted to provide um, some clarity for some of you who are kind of in this situation. So new YouTube eligibility for monetization, which is basically what they're calling early access or expanded access. You have to have 500 subscribers and 3000 watch hours. So, you know, the original way was you had to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. Once shorts kind of took off, um, I think what, and, and let me actually read it so I don't get anything right. Uh, once shorts became a thing, you had to have basically a thousand subscribers and 10 million valid public short views within 90 days. So, you know, a lot of people were creating shorts and going viral or whatever. So again, the old way, thousand subs, 4,000 watch hours, and then they added a thousand subs with 10 million shorts views in 90 days. As of 2023, now they've kind of dropped it to where it's 500 subs. You have to have three public uploads within the last 90 days and then 3,000 valid public watch hours in the last 10 months, all right? And did the same thing with the subscribers on the shorts. That sounds great, but here's the thing. It's not full monetization. And I think that's the thing. People are getting excited. It's like, yo, I only gotta have 500 subs. I only need 3000 watch hours instead of the 4,000. But here's the thing, you get access to features. So now you can, you know, have your own shop. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna sell products or whatever. So like, if you're on my page right now, you know, I have products tagged like for my merch, merchandise. So you can actually go to my online store purchase merchandise or anything else that I have there. That's a feature that you will get um, with early and expanded access. You will have access to like um, creator funding. So basically, um, you know, super chat, like those of you who are live streamers, so you can get super chats and super thanks, which is kind of like a tip. We're just saying thank you, or like super stickers. But you actually getting the original like, oh, I'm monetized, like where you're getting a check from like Google AdSense, you know, as far as like ad revenue sharing, that is not happening. You still have to get those 1000 subs and 4000 watch hours to get the full access to the revenue sharing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You get early access and you can make some money, but you just aren't fully monetized. So right out the gate, I just wanted to make sure you had that clear understanding. My monetization, my full monetization anniversary um, is actually coming up in three more months. I've been monetized um, since June the 16th is when I got that first email saying, hey, you're eligible to apply. And that's the other thing I want people to understand. Monetization doesn't happen automatically. So you will get an email, um, it either comes directly from YouTube or it comes from Google AdSense, but you will you will get an email saying, hey, you're eligible to apply. And then you will actually put in the application. You will go through the application process. Um, and then you will get the email confirming um, that you've been approved to join the program. And then I think the other part is, um, and this may be different now, cause I've seen different people talk about this. I didn't necessarily have to go to a verification of identity thing. Um, but now I think you have to do a verification of identity with Google AdSense. So Google AdSense, of course we know Google owns YouTube, but Google AdSense is basically how you're getting that money, you know, where that revenue sharing is actually coming from. And I'll actually kind of show you, um, you know, what you can kind of expect. Granted, you know, I know there are channels that are smaller than mine. You know what I'm saying? Like a thousand, 2000 subscribers. I'm on the road to 5,000. I still consider my channel, you know what I'm saying? To be relatively small. I think in terms of like the grand scheme of things, I'm still considered a small creator. So I'm gonna show you the type of money you can expect because it all depends on niche. You know what I'm saying? And niche, niche, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. What what group you're in, you know, that really kind of determines the CPM. You know what I'm saying? What, what you're getting paid. 
um, per views, you know, per 1000 views and all those different types of things, that's going to have a huge factor on the type of money that you actually can make. So let me actually take you back into the um, earning portion of YouTube studio so you can kind of see what to expect. All right, so right now you can see I'm in the earning section of YouTube Studio. And just to just so you can confirm, if you've hit 500 subs and you've hit and you've hit 3000 watch hours, you've applied or whatever. You can verify what I said earlier by going in here saying you're a YouTube partner and it's going to tell you what you have access to. So again, as a as that early expanded access, you can get memberships, you can get supers, you can get shopping but you cannot get short, you cannot make money from short feeds, um, shorts feeds ads, and you can't make money from watch page ads. You know what I'm saying? Now, some people argue you make more money coming from, you know what I'm saying, memberships and supers, but that's neither here or there. So again, monetization, I don't wanna say monetization is monetization, but you know, there, there are definitely levels um, to it. So basically this tells you for the last, and y'all know I'm that type of creator, um, for the last 28 days, we made $89.28. All right, so that money, so most of that money came from ads on the watch page. Um, so skippable video ads. So that's usually the ads that you know it comes up where it plays for like, you know, five seconds or 10 seconds and you can actually skip. Now here's the thing. This is what my CPM currently is. $20.42. So I got to put out some, I got to put out some videos that's getting views. So basically that means every time 1,000 people watch one of my videos, this is basically an average, but basically every time 1,000 people watch one, uh, watch one of my videos, I get $20.42. All right, so here's the reality of it. Let's say again, I talk about how you, people get frustrated because they don't see the immediate reaction and success. And the thing is you can make a video today that doesn't take off for like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. Um, but depending on what that CPM is now, I mean, hey, you know, so you can kind of do the math, $89.27, $20.42, you know, per 1000 views that just gives you an idea of what we kind of did, you know what I'm saying, in February. And here's the biggest thing with February, there was consistency. That's the biggest thing I want to I want to tell you. So, I'm going to I'm going to talk about, you know, I just wanted to show you that so you can get an idea and I don't want to get too deep in the weeds on that cuz that's another conversation for another day, but um I want to give you some ideas even if you're not monetized, how you can monetize your content without being part of the YouTube partner program because there are still plenty of ways you see all these videos about how YouTube changed my life with a small channel. I'm an example of that. So there are a lot of things that you can do with your content. And I want to talk about that. Whether you realize it or not, like your YouTube content library is a portfolio. You know what I'm saying? Like number one, the number one way for you to make money off of YouTube, like absent of YouTube is just like by posting more work posting more videos, getting, being consistent, being committed. And I, and I know that's, you know, everybody says that, but no, I'm serious. You know, for a person like me, you know, I'm a photographer, I do filmmaking, all those different types of things. And so number one, people see the type of edits and all those things I do. It's like, yo, do you offer editing services to other people? You know, when people see me go live and they see my live streams, yo, do you offer coaching or consulting to be able to do that? Um, you know, um, those are kind of like the first, you know, thing. So it's like um, you have coaching opportunities, you have consulting opportunities, you have service opportunities to where if you're good at what you do and people love what you do, whether it's just they love your style, they love your confidence, or they just love the production or the presentation that you do, YouTube is a portfolio for you. So that's number one. That's really the biggest thing, probably the biggest way you can actually make money um, without, you know, having a small channel without necessarily being part of the partner program. Number two, all right, this is probably um, going to be one of my favorite ways, but um, do you have a product that you actually sell? Have you written a book? You know what I'm saying? These, this is kind of the second way that you can really make money as a small channel. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, 
if you already have a product, say you're like an author or you've written something, you know, now you create content around that. And if it's content that people want to see, people are more likely to probably buy the product or the service that you're offering. You know, so I tell anybody, I'm like, if you're an author, you know, if, if anything that you sell, build content around that. And YouTube is one of the best ways to do that, because even still with that, while you're trying to basically sell more products, sell more services, you're also building this content library, which is going to open up doors to do other things. You know how many females I know that started YouTube channels for for fashion and beauty and now they get tech deals with like Apple, Samsung and all these communities, um, all of these big companies because their 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 content was so great and people were trying to figure out, OK, oh, my God, I want to start a YouTube channel, too. But your camera looks so amazing. Your microphone looks so amazing. And this is going to lead into the third thing, the third way you can make money. Like, what are you using? Affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing. You know what I'm saying? You do not have to be a big channel to have affiliate marketing. You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube, um, Ecamm, I'm sorry, Ecamm Live. You can be in a, you, you don't, here's, can I give you a gem? You don't even have to use Ecamm to be an Ecamm affiliate. I probably shouldn't have told you that, but Hey, when people say, when people see you go live, when people see me go live, they're like, yo, oh my God, what are you using? I'm like, I use Ecamm live. You know what I'm saying? Now I've, so I, I can make money off the affiliate. You know what I'm saying? By giving you, you know, a 14 day free trial. And if you want a 14 day free trial, I just don't go live. I record all my videos with Ecamm live to give you the quality that I'm giving link down in the description. That's number one. I'm also able to offer a consultation to help you get set up and to help set up Ecamm for you. That's another bag. Amazon, you know what I'm saying? Affiliate influencer program. So when you ask me what kind of camera am I using? It's one thing for me to tell you. It's another thing to send you the link. And you and, and if you're a big enough creator, you may have affiliate opportunities with B&H or other software companies like you may have like Riverside, you know, you may have an affiliate with them or Canva. You may have an affiliate with them. It's just there are so many ways, so many opportunities. So number one, use YouTube as your portfolio. You know what I'm saying? To put yourself out there for other people to see you. And if and if and if it's great, if the content is great, there will be buy in. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, build content around a product or a service that you're actually selling. You know what I'm saying? That's number two. And then number three, affiliate marketing is probably the simplest and quickest way you can actually really start making um, money today, even with a small channel without being monetized. So hopefully I was able to provide some value to you. Let me know, you know, are you monetized? You know, what has your experience been like being part of the partner program? Um, are you right now just at kind of like the 500 subs, 3000 watch hours, um, you know, expanded access? Are you using super chats and shopping and all of those different types of things? If you want to know how I set up my own shop, you know, how I'm able to sell t-shirts and products and digital products and all these other types of things, absolutely um let's engage you know what i'm saying let's do that let's let's have that conversation um in the comments and and before you even go like if you're really just trying to you know get to that point if you're saying oh i can't wait till i get to 500 subs oh i can't wait till i get to a thousand subs oh my god it seems like the watch hours is the hardest thing i've got something free i actually want to give to you which is a free quick start guide because here's the thing if you're trying to reach everybody you're going to reach nobody so if you're making videos for everybody you're probably going to end up not actually getting views at all it really doesn't matter if you don't know who it is you're creating content for and so i put together this free quick start guide called the content whistle you know what i'm saying and it's built in and i wrote it built on the premise of when you blow a dog whistle only the dog can hear, you know, the sound and the frequency and the pitch of that whistle. And they immediately come to you. Well, I want you to blow your content whistle so that the audience that's been assigned to your voice immediately recognize, oh my God, Walt's blowing his whistle. Pause. Um, yeah, that was about to take a real bad turn, but but Walt, Walt is blowing his whistle. Let's hear what he has to say, or, you know, let's come and pay attention to see what's going on. So listen, I'm, I'm gonna link that down in the description. You see it on your screen, but I'm gonna link it in the description. It's free. The only thing I ask for is your email. So I'm going to give that to you. Hopefully that helps you. But aside from that, you know, if you got any other value, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every single time I post more content like this on my channel. But until next time, I see you guys in one of the videos you see playing on your screen right now.